angry not for positions but for sound. So the church must go back to reformation. This is radical. We will be hated because reformation is a battle of tradition. Some of the things we are doing in Kenya, they are not biblical. Some of the things we are calling honor is Babylon. It's a fact. I was afraid, sometimes I'm afraid, especially when I come to Nakuru. The protocol and all those things. And I'm like, sir, I am not a politician. I am a servant. I'm a one of you. The Bible says when, when they came and they wanted to worship Paul, he tore his garments. He said, I'm one of you. I am not a God. We are men. We are shepherds. We need to smell sheep. We don't need bodyguards. Yes, I know we need protocol to create the way sometimes there are some stubborn people. But we don't need this exaggerated Babylonian system. Babylon celebrates power. That is the order of government and protocols. But in this kingdom, in this kingdom you have been anointed for men. There, there is a woman who is bleeding for 12 years. But there is a man by the name Jairus. Both of them have access to the same Messiah. One has influence and stature. Another one is a cast off. We must take the church back. And I tell you this will bring conflict. Because now we have introduced witches instead of pastors. Some of the men on the pulpit, they are not pastors, they are witches. They are selling water, they are selling handkerchief, they are selling oil, they are selling salt. They are trying to use Old Testament connotations of covenant. Don't you know you are under the covenant of the blood, not salt? So Jesus is no longer on our pews. We have young people carrying oil in their handbags. Do you know the Bible says the recipe of the anointing oil was a secret so that ordinary men should not carry the oil. Now we have a man carrying oil in their handbag. Who made you a high priest? <laughs> Do you know the Bible says he that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. Not what is in my bag. He that is in me Christ in me, the hope of all glory. So now people are holding their faith to things but not Jesus. People are looking for us and they are saying I want to raise an altar for God. Then what happened to the altar he raised for you in Calvary? So if money can deliver you then the poor are in delusion. This thing is for the rich. But the Bible says blessed are the poor all of us are poor it is not economical no man can afford one droplet of the blood of Yeshua but now the church has become for the privilege he that can give a hundred thousand is more anointed the Bible says he the one that gave a denarii was more blessed than them who gave out of order somebody shout reformation if we are to take you through church history, uh, we are not here to, we, we are all Catholics by the way. The name Catholic means the universal church. But now we have the Roman Catholic, which is the universal church of Rome. Are, are we together? And you study church history after Constantine, 4th century, when he got born again and persecution ended in the church. That is the time now they began to introduce leaders who are meant to lead the church. And there was marriage between the church and the state. And that's when we now began with the papacy. Until a man by the name of Martin Luther came. And Martin Luther is considered as the father of reformation. 